If you have an entry-level DSLR like this one right here, which is the Nikon D3400, and have not upgraded your firmware, stay tuned, this video is for you. Let's start off with what is firmware. Firmware is the software engine that makes various devices operate. Without the firmware, your device would not work. And in this case, this is the Nikon D3400. So Nikon includes firmware on these cameras, and that is essentially what presents the menus to you in the back and some of the general overall functionality of the camera. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is predominantly because of SnapBridge. Now I created a tutorial on how to use SnapBridge and this D3400. I'll post a link below if you want to watch that. But SnapBridge has been problematic throughout the Nikon line and it's had problems connecting to the smartphone and to function as it should. So Nikon recently released a firmware upgrade that is meant to improve that functionality and most likely it has other fixes in there as well. So Regardless of what camera you have, be sure to check with your manufacturer because more often than not, manufacturers release firmware upgrades quite often. They typically do it to fix some kind of bug and sometimes they do it to release new enhancements. But in this case, it's definitely to try and fix that snap bridge bug that's been around for a little while. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to upgrade the firmware on this Nikon D3400. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right in and make it happen. The first thing we're going to do is take a look at the current firmware that's on the camera. And the way we're going to do this is press the menu button right up here and you're going to see what's currently on the back of the camera. You're going to use your pad on the right hand side and arrow down to the setup menu. Come over to the right hand side again using the pad here. And you're going to, you're going to go all the way down and actually if you just want to jump to it, go up and it'll take you to the bottom of the list which is where the firmware version is. Go ahead and hit the OK button and this will bring up the version of firmware that you have on your camera. Now you see that there are three versions of firmware. And the first one is what we're really focused on, that's the letter C. And that is the firmware that impacts the camera itself. And the LD that you see in the middle, that is for lens distortion control. That helps to control the distortion that is imposed by various lenses that are attached to the camera. And the LF is for the lens firmware. Now, I know that the latest version of the firmware for this camera is 1.12, and you can see I have 1.11 on here. You might, if you have an older version of the firmware, have 1.10. The lens distortion control firmware on my camera right here is set to 2.015, and I believe the latest version is 2.016, so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade that as well and there is no upgrade for the lens firmware itself, which is currently set to 1.00. So now that we know we need to upgrade two different firmwares, let's go ahead and jump on the machine. I'm gonna show you how to download that and take the next steps. We're gonna start off by removing the SD card out of the camera. Now, I have a few images on here, but I'm not overly concerned about that. But do note that Nikon does recommend formatting the camera to begin with. But in this case, I'm not going to format it, and I'm just going to go ahead and make use of the card that's already in here. Insert your card into a card reader of some sort on my desktop here, and a laptop I have nearby. I have a built-in card reader, and it doesn't really matter what you have. You're just going to need a card reader of some sort. Open up a browser and go to this link right here. Now, don't worry about writing this link down. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the description below, so feel free to copy and paste. And this will take you to everything that is related to the D3400. And you'll see that there is a section for manuals, firmware, and software. We're going to focus on the firmware, so I'm going to go ahead and click this. Now you'll see that there are two updates, one for the distortion control data and the other one for the D3400 firmware. Now, the version here is 2.016, and if you recall, I am on 2.015. On the 3400 firmware update, I am on version 1.11, and this is version 1.12. So we're going to want to update both of these. So let's start off. I'm going to go ahead and click on the View Download page, 
And if you're on Mac OS, you'll go to this section here. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to stay here. In the middle of the screen is more information about the firmware. Feel free to read that if you want. But I'm going to scroll straight to the bottom. I'm going to accept the license agreement and download this file. This is a pretty small file. And I'm prompted where to download it. Just know where your files go. I went ahead and created a directory off my root drive called underscore TMP. I'm going to save this file in that directory. It's going to be pretty quick. It's a small file. Now I'm going to back up and I'm going to do the same thing for the other firmware, which is the camera firmware. So I'm going to click on view download page. It's set up in the same fashion as the other firmware. I'm going to scroll straight to the bottom, accept the license agreement and download. Now this file is quite a bit larger than the other one. Um, albeit it won't take long to download. You can see it downloading right here and it's done already. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this screen and this is my Windows Explorer. So here are the two files we just downloaded. Now I'm going to go ahead and execute these files and it will create a folder and within that folder will be the firmware file that we need. So I'm going to double click on this file here and this will create our folder right here and if I double click on the folder I will see our firmware file. So I'm going to back up and do the same thing for the other executable, which is right here. I'm going to double click. A folder is going to be created. And inside that folder, again, our firmware file. So we need both of these files on our card. Now, here's what's important. You really don't want to put both on the card at the same time. So what we're going to do first will be the camera firmware upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and grab just this one file. I'm just highlighting it by clicking on it one time. I'm going to hit Control C, which in the Windows world is a shortcut for copy. And I'm going to come down here to our card. And you'll see how I have some other folders and files in here. Nikon recommends formatting the card, but we really don't need to. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Control V, which is the Windows shortcut for paste. And with our file on this card, I'm going to go ahead and take the card out and let's go ahead and proceed to the camera. One quick note is you want to ensure your camera is turned off before you put your SD card in. So my camera was off. I put the SD card in here on the side and then turned it back on. And then I went into the menu option over here and I went down to the setup menu. And you can see that I am highlighted on firmware version. I'm going to go ahead and click the OK button here. And now you'll see that we have another option that says update down here. Now take note of our firmware versions. C is 1.11, LD is 2.015. Now we want to upgrade both of these to 1.12 and 2.016. So I'm going to go ahead and hit update. And it's going to come back and it's going to say, do you want to upgrade from 1.11 to 1.2? I'm going to arrow up and say yes. So this is picking up on our camera firmware upgrade. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And it's basically coming back saying it's updating. Do not turn the camera off during the update. Update's going to take several minutes. So you don't want to do anything to disrupt this update. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and just pause for a minute while this is updating. And then I'll come right back in when it's done. All right, after a minute or two, uh, it now says update completed, turn the camera off. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off with our switch at the top. After I turned the camera off, I took the card out and I put it back in my card reader and I'm back on the machine. So what we need to do now is go ahead and remove this firmware file that we have on here and get our other firmware. So keeping in mind, this is the firmware for the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off right now. I just highlighted it, hit the delete key. And now it is off of our SD card. So I'm going to navigate to the location of our other firmware file, which is right here. I'm going to go ahead and highlight it. Again, Control C, which is the window shortcut to copy. I'm going to come back down here to our card and Control V, which is the window shortcut to paste. And now we have our firmware file on here. And I am going to go ahead and go back to the camera. Similar to the previous firmware update, I had the camera turned off, put the SD card in the side, turn the camera on, I'm going to go ahead and hit menu, and it's already taken us directly to our firmware version in the setup menu. I'm going to hit the OK pad here, 
and you can see that the previous update worked. You can see our camera firmware is now 1.12 and our LD firmware is still sitting on 2.015. So the update that's going to happen right now is for the LD firmware. I'm going to come down and hit the update and it's prompting us. It's saying do you want to upgrade right now from 2.015 to 2.016? I'm going to arrow up and say yes. Now it's a much smaller file so it was done much much quicker. So now it's saying update complete. I'm going to turn the camera off and at this point we want to take the SD card back out. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out and we need to take the file off but for now I'm going to leave the camera without the card, turn this back on and we're just going to validate that the LD firmware updated. So I'm going to hit the menu here come back into firmware version and you can see that our LD firmware is now 2.016. Upgrading firmware for any electronic device is always worth considering especially if you feel that there's a flaw with that given device and in this case there have been a lot of complaints about SnapBridge and the Nikon cameras and Nikon obviously listened and they have implemented a firmware upgrade now that firmware upgrade claims to help improve the connectivity between your camera and the smartphone. So the next video I may do, I might turn focus on SnapBridge and see just how well it's working and see if there's some improvements with it. Hope this video helped you out and if it did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. It's called Real World. More often than not, I post videos about photography and technology, but you never know. So until the next video, take care of yourself and be safe.